What is up, YouTube family? Welcome to this Dumpster Divers hot mess kitchen. <laughs> don't mind the tie-dye on my shirt. I don't even know if you can see it. I was just tie-dyeing with the kids and one of them shook the bottle and exploded it everywhere. So I've covered it tie-dye, but that's okay. So um, no dumpster diving. Oh my God, I just almost fell. No dumpster diving, unfortunately anymore this week because hubby has to work his only day off was earlier this week and i already uploaded that video for you guys so i figured why not just hang out with you guys cook in the kitchen and do what i have to do anyway and just record it i mean it's not dumpster diving but it should be entertaining none the least i might catch my house on fire i probably am gonna burn something and who knows maybe something might turn out okay <laughs> Let's cook some short ribs and some pasta salad. I think I'm also gonna do some uh, Panera bread, lemon, what the heck is it? Like that lemon cake. I've been looking at it every time I go to, Pan or is it Panera? No, it's Starbucks. Starbucks, lemon pound cake, I think it is. Every time I go there, I look at it and I'm like, I've gotta make this. Like there's gotta be an easy way for me to make this. So we're gonna try it. And I've never made short ribs before in my life. So I figured let's give that a whirl too because these looked really good at the store and that's what I'm gonna make for dinner. That being said, let's get started on these short ribs. Well, this seems pretty simple, I guess. I don't know. Um, I'm just gonna season these up and we're gonna put them in a hot pan to brown them. So we are gonna season these really, really good and then I'm gonna take you over to the stove and we're gonna sear them. And of course, my dog is laying right in front of where I need to be. <laughs> so we're just gonna take some olive oil and put it in this pan here and let that heat up while we season our meat. So I just do really simple salt, pepper, seasoned salt, and garlic powder. And then when I put them in the, um, glass pan to go in the oven. I'm gonna put some fresh garlic. Well, not fresh, but you know, from Walmart. Um, fresh garlic and some beef broth for like to braise them and baste them, you know what I mean? So they're not dry. And then once those are cooking, we're gonna get started on pasta salad, which I need to get a bowl of water on for, which my pasta salad is super easy. It's just noodles, veggies, cheese, um, salad supreme, seasoning, and Italian dressing. And that's literally it. So our pan, as soon as it gets super hot, we're gonna put these ribs down. And you just wanna cook these until they're like nice and brown on every side, just to give them like a nice crunchy outer layer. So when those are done, you just need to get a liquid. You can use beer, weirdly, I know. I didn't know that. You could use wine, like a red wine, a white wine, or beef broth, because I have it and I don't have any wine or beer, so that's what we're gonna use. I'm super excited about making this lemon pound cake. I really hope it turns out, but I'm not a very good baker, so if it doesn't, I'm sorry. <laughs> While we're waiting on that, I'm gonna get started on the pasta salad, because I'm gonna serve that, and I think we're just gonna roast some of these baby potatoes with some butter, and just some good old linguine for the pasta salad. Don't mind my house, it is a mess. I did not clean for you guys because this is real life here. I don't make it look like it's something it isn't. <laughs> okay, so in my pasta salad, it's simple. Green pepper, cucumber, cubed cheese because this saves your life. Some tomatoes, a black olives. Gotta go with the wishbone Italian. That's the best kind to use. And I have broccoli somewhere. Did I get it out already? I lost broccoli. Oh, okay. And some already chopped up broccoli. I don't normally buy organic. I'm not that fancy, but this is all they had. <laughs> so I'm just gonna wash the veggies real quick, turn my beef, and then we'll get started on this pasta salad. There's how the short ribs are coming. So I'm just gonna make sure they're browned on all sides. Then we're gonna pop them bad boys in a 325 degree oven. With, it says um, 
for like four pounds of short ribs. You use three cups of water, but I think I'm only gonna use two cups because I think I only have like two and a half pounds of short ribs, which that's more than enough for us. So, washed my veggies. See, they're wet. Yes, I washed them, I swear. I got a big old bowl here. We're just gonna chop some veggies up, toss them in the bowl, and then keep flipping our beef. And you're probably gonna have kids, seeing kids come in and out, so, you know, real life. So, I guess I should move this bowl. Oh, and I'm using my new uh, washcloth from Hawaii. Thank you to Miss Sharon. So I just cut my cucumbers in half just to do like bite-sized pieces and then quarter them. Cause I don't want them to be too small because then they get soggy from sitting in the dressing, you know what I mean? My kids aren't huge fans of broccoli. Shocking, I know. Um, so I don't like there to be super big chunks, but big enough to where I can pick them out. We went to Walmart or, earlier because of course I needed stuff to make my recipes with. And um, first of all, they are so out of so much stuff. They had not one package of lemon pudding in the whole store. Like why? Why? How do you not have lemon pudding? You know what I mean? Oops, there's a piece of broccoli. You wanna try a piece of broccoli? See if he eats it. <laughs> Don't eat anything, he might eat it. All right, so I'm gonna get my linguine going in here. Turn this down a little. How do you guys cook your pasta? Do you break it in half like I do? Or do you just set it in whole like a lot of people do? I don't like doing that. I don't know why, I've always done this. Am I weird for that? And I always put in a little bit of olive oil. That's so they don't stick together. Are you still eating your broccoli? <laughs> How's that broccoli going? No, you're not a big fan? He had it in his mouth for like five minutes. I thought for sure he was gonna eat it. I'm probably doing way too many things at one time and something's gonna catch on fire. Okay, let's get some of this broccoli going. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in the bowl. Oh, I got the bowl all over the place. Let's see if I can get it all over the what's that stuff called? What is it called? Beef broth. And put it in here with some garlic and Worcestershire sauce. And then we're just gonna add our beef broth to the pan. I feel like that's way too much because I don't want it to be like a roast. You know what I mean? I want it to be like, maybe I should put a rack in here. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put a rack in here. No, we're not because it doesn't fit. <laughs> I know what we'll do. We're just gonna take some of this out. Okay. So, I took like a half a cup out. Then we need oil, because we're gonna cover up the ribs. Oh, and we're gonna put um, barbecue sauce on them at the end and broil them, but not yet. Okay, let's move this over here so I don't catch myself on fire. That's probably the wise thing to do. See how nice and crispy brown those are. And we're just gonna set them right on in. Cover that up. Some dumpster aluminum foil. <laughs> and we're gonna put this in the oven for two and a half hours. I'm gonna put it on 350 because he has to go to work. He leaves here at 6.30, so I'd like to have like dinner done before he leaves. <laughs> and we're just gonna finish cutting our veggies. Just cut them all in bite-sized pieces. Nothing spectacular. I don't know, I don't like the seeds and the, like, the gooey part, so I always get to take those out. Am I weird? Is that something weird? I don't know. I just feel like they get too gooey. And I don't like gooey tomatoes, you know what I'm saying? Like after a day, they get gooey. Boom, boom, all right. So I'm gonna finish doing this and then I'll bring you back and we'll finish up this pasta salad and then start on the best part, which is lemon pound cake. Yes, I have dirty dishes in my sink. So you just wanna cool your pasta off. Make sure you get all of it nice and cold. Turn your pasta, rinse it off. We want it to be nice and cold because we don't want to add hot pasta to our vegetables. Okay, so normally I would use almost like a whole container of the salad supreme, but I got about a half. So that's all we're going to use. 
We're gonna add our noodles in a little at a time and we're gonna pour in some of the salad cream and some of our Italian. Now, I'm gonna do probably this whole bottle, but I'm not gonna do it all at once because it will soak up a lot of this, so you're gonna have to add some later on. You can also add meat to this. Sometimes I do add pepperoni or salami. Fresh salami is really good in this. And then we're gonna add our cheese once this is all incorporated. So I'm just gonna keep adding noodles in. And this is a small batch. I try and tell myself to only make half of this every time I make it, but we literally will eat this for, it's good for about four days. And by the fourth day, it's practically gone, so. All right, so let's get some cheese going. use your hands because you're not eating it I am so it's okay <laughs> all right a little bit more dressing we're gonna mix her on up again and then we're gonna put this in the fridge and let it chill until dinner's ready and then right before dinner we will add more of the Italian dressing because it's gonna soak it all up so I'm going to cover this up and pop this in the fridge dumpster foil again and then I'm going to lean up my area and we're gonna start making dessert because that's what I'm most excited about. I got me a five by nine loaf pan I cut out a piece of parchment paper sprayed the heck out of it with some cooking spray and I got my recipe which I got this from little little <laughs> I'll just link it in the description box because I can't pronounce things today. Okay, we're gonna start with the dry ingredients in this bowl and then we'll move over to the KitchenAid. If you don't have a KitchenAid, don't worry, you don't need one. All you need is one of those hand mixers. You don't need nothing fancy for this. So we're gonna need flour, the lemon pudding, baking powder, baking soda, and salt. And we're gonna put that in this bowl right here. So we're gonna dump this on in here. Oh God, making a mess, making a mess. Oh, and you're supposed to have lemon zest. I didn't buy any lemons. <laughs> so we're not doing that fancy schmancy stuff. Okay, okay. I mean, I got lemon juice, I got lemon extract. To me, that's good enough. But we're not going all out with zest and stuff. That's just too much. All right, one and a half cups of flour. I guess I should probably like do this with like exact measurements, huh? So, I'll actually like use my knife. Let's try not to make a mess. Yep, still making a mess. And a half, so one and a half cups of flour. Baking powder. We need a half of a teaspoon. Boom. Half a teaspoon of baking soda. A teaspoon of that. And half a teaspoon of salt. It seems like a lot of salt, doesn't it? I don't know, I don't feel like I wanna put all that salt in there. <laughs> Usually it's like a quarter teaspoon, you know? I don't know, okay. And then we are going to move on over. We're gonna just pop this over here and I'm gonna move my stand mixer over and we're gonna combine the egg, sugar, butter, vanilla, lemon extract, lemon juice, oil, and you also need some plain Greek yogurt. Just a little dusty. I don't bake often, so. Let's just get this a little white down here so I don't embarrass myself on the internet. <laughs> a little too late for that now, isn't it? So in your mixer or in your bowl with your hand mixer, we are going to combine three eggs one cup of sugar, so let's start with the eggs. Did I crack this one? I did. Oh yeah, no shells, no shells. So one full cup of sugar. Dang, that's a lot of sugar. This is a quarter cup, so we're gonna need four of these bad boys. Four. Two tablespoons of softened butter, which this is still not softened, so we're gonna pop this in the microwave to soften it. I'm just gonna let that cool so I don't scramble my eggs because that would be my luck. Two teaspoons of lemon extract and two. We need one tea, t 
teaspoon of vanilla extract and I got fancy and bought the pure vanilla extract, guys. Who am I? I don't know. All right, one teaspoon of vanilla. Oh, the two tablespoons of butter softened. I'm gonna get a thingamajigger. You know, a thingamajigger. What is this thing called? I just cannot with the names of things today. My brain is done. Yes, I'm using a Finding Dory bowl. <laughs> you guys, I feel so bad for you. You're probably like, what in the world am I watching? It says a third a cup of fresh lemon juice. I don't have fresh lemon juice, but I have lemon from concentrate lemon juice. So a third a cup of this. Wow, that's gonna be lemony. A half a cup of oil, which hopefully this is a half a cup that I have in here, or I'm gonna have to search for some more. Oh, look at that. And three quarters cup of plain Greek yogurt. I guess we're just doing this whole thing. At least I hope. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Greek yogurt and you mix. Now we're gonna add our dry ingredients. Let me get some of this stuff out of the way so that our baking soda and baking powder and salt is all mixed in. And it said just to do it gradually and then to scrape down the sides of the bowl <laughs> as you are mixing it. following the directions because I want this to turn out because I'm super excited about this. I have been eyeing that cake every time I go to Starbucks and I'm like, no, no, I will not bring myself to pay that price. I will not for one little slice of cake when I can make the cake for much cheaper at home and have much more of it. Because, <laughs> I mean, who wants to stop at one slice of cake? You know what I mean? Like, not me. I'm probably not even using the reattachment if I'm not. Don't worry about it. It'll be fine. I promise. down the sides again. Wow, this looks really good. Oh, it smells like lemon meringue pie. Oh my God, I love lemon meringue pie, guys. I haven't had lemon meringue pie in years. And I am just not that experienced enough to make no lemon meringue pie. Have you ever made lemon meringue pie? Is it easy? Should I try it? Let me know. Add the lemon zest. Yeah, we don't have that. Mix until just combined. Pour the batter into the prepared loaf pan and bake for 55 minutes or until the center is fully set and a toothpick <laughs> toothpick inserted comes out crumb free. Okay, come on. Come on. To pour this into the bowl. All right, and I got my parchment paper in there on the bottom. Hopefully I did it right. It smells amazing. You guys have got to try this. I hope I make this right. I really do because I'm going to be real upset <laughs> if I burn this and I don't get to taste it. Pop this in the 350 degree oven for 55 minutes. Okay, bottom of it, Shannon, bottom of it. Bam! All right, I'm going to clean up my mess over here and then I'll bring you guys back and we are going to check on the short ribs. We'll check on the potatoes and then we're also going to... Um, stir that pasta salad up, make sure all the dressing is incorporated so it's not dried out, 
And then we're gonna start on our frosting for this cake. My potatoes are done, so I'm gonna take those out. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt to them. By a little bit, I mean a lot. <laughs> What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check on my um, short ribs. I'm gonna take them out, baste them with barbecue sauce and put them on broil to get them nice and crunchy on the top. They smell amazing. Oh yes, totally tender, falling off the bone. So I'm gonna put them in a different pan, baste them with the barbecue sauce. Dumpster sheet pan, yippers. Sweet Baby Ray's. Oh, this stuff is so good. Okay, done and done. Um, if you wanted, you could add some cornstarch to this and make a really good gravy and make mashed potatoes, but I'm not doing that. And this is how they turned out. They look so stinking good. Oh my goodness. This is so tender. You literally can cut it with a fork. So I'm gonna give this a whirl, taste test, see how it is. These are amazing. Why have I never made these before? I don't know. So pasta salad is definitely dry. See how much it's sucked up? I mean, it's like hard because all that Italian dressing gets soaked up into those noodles. So we don't have a ton of it left, but I do have another bottle, I think from like Aldi's, which I'll add in. This has been cooling. It smells amazing. And I think it's gonna come out clean because I put that parchment paper on the bottom, so definitely do that. Let's give it a whirl. Look at that. Call me Betty Crocker. <laughs> so now we're gonna make our icing, which you need three tablespoons of softened butter. Boom, got it. We need our lemon extract and lemon juice. Three tablespoons of lemon juice. One teaspoon of the extract. Yeah, gradually add one and a half cups of powdered sugar and beat until smooth and creamy. All right, and that is literally it. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna ice your lemon cake and then you have to let it sit in the fridge to set for the frosting to set. So it's like that hard frosting, you know what I mean? So it's like all gooey. And um, you have to let that set before slicing it. So I can't eat this yet and it's killing me. <laughs> so this is what your icing should look like. And ice the top. I'm gonna try not to let too much go down the sides. Well, my kitchen looks like a bomb went off, but that's okay because this was worth it. So we are going to try this lemon cake. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. Let me get some paper, please. Look at that. I mean, seriously. No, use a fork. <laughs> She's like going in with her hands. Okay. Next piece. Miss Kylie. Ava's not a big fan of the lemon. Try the, just try the cake. And of course my piece is falling apart. Yeah, I don't really uh, like the lemon. Uh, uh, you don't like the icing? I don't like the lemon in the Mmm, I like the cake. Wait, what? The cake's really good. Honestly, if I make this again, guys, I'm not gonna do the lemon icing. I'm just gonna do regular icing with powdered sugar because that's too much lemon. But yeah. the cake is amazing. So that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out in this hot mess dumpster diver's kitchen. I hope that you come back and hang out with us again. And until next time, happy diving, cooking, and baking. Bye, guys. You know that I'm a keep it cool. With you, I feel like breaking rules. On the edge, looking out with no parachute. You know I'm dreaming about us who